I know they don't want to do. Weiss with two base hits already in this tournament. And he drops a perfect bunt in, into third, and that's going to bring in the winning run. That's a bad throw, and it gets by. And the Warriors are going to have a walk-off win here in the bottom of the ninth inning. A perfect bunt by Cody Weiss that was fielded, went to third, a bad throw, skips into the left field, and scoring easy is Zach Holly. And just like that, Lewis Clark State hands Cumberland its first loss. Six to five. What a rally by the Warriors. Trailing five to one, put up four runs in the sixth inning, a run here in the bottom of the seventh, and another walk-off victory, and this is becoming almost old hat. Yeah, and you wonder, boy, about the psyche of Kevin P. Green, who has just found nothing but hard luck out there on the mound for the Bulldogs of Cumberland, but a very nice come-from-behind win for the LCSC Warriors, the, the hometown team. And as you watch the replay here, yeah. he puts down a perfect bunt. It's not all that bad. What he probably should have done was go to first and get yeah, the out. Ryan Haney and, feels yep. that, and he will, tries to one-hop the throw to third, uh, third base to, the, to uh, Tyler Anderson, who's recovering on the play. Ball goes into left field. Left fielder Chris Hall tries to back up the play, but the ball gets past him. And Zach Hawley races around and score is easy so we've got it we've had two great ball games today two one run ball games one win extra inning the walk off here as lewis clark state beats cumberland six to five join us again tomorrow when we will have it'll be lewis clark state and oklahoma westland at 6 35 right here on espn3 for my partner jay mccall i'm bert salberg have a good night everybody Bull Kern's great game. A local kid pitched on this stage on that mound. Walk me through your, your game tonight. Uh, you know, it's <laughs> electrifying. I've been saying that all night. It was uh, pretty amazing going out there. and I went pitch for pitch with it and, you know, just be a bulldog. So Is that your mindset when the team's down early? You're just trying to keep them around, right? Yeah, we've done, you know, we've been in that situation a couple times this year, and I've had to come in and just keep them there. Just throw up zeros, and our guys will do it. I knew they were going to do it. You're facing a team that's been hot, that's been hitting everyone's pitching. How are you approaching them? Um, keep the ball low, and then uh, next pitch. Just concentrate on the next pitch. The next one I'm throwing. And it worked out. It worked out real good. So. In your mind, you have some faith in your offense? Oh, Put yeah. some runs back on the board? Hey, it's the best offense in the country for years, man. So, how's oh, they're great. How's it feel now with the chance tomorrow to win the game and get into the title game? Amazing, man. You got Just to do it. Right where you want to be? Absolutely. Right where we want to be. Congrats. Great win. Thanks, man. Coach Robbins, you've already said it to me earlier in the tournament. You lose your first game. You guys are in the loser's bracket. You said you had your backs against the wall. Tonight, you're playing one of the hottest teams in the tournament. You go down 5-1. Your back's really against the wall there. Your thoughts on the game? Uh, crazy, uh, you know, to, to come out and be down. And But the, the thing I liked, and you know, I talked about it yesterday, is you know just our attitude in the dugout and our attitude on the field. We're just competing. And when you allow yourself to do that, you're going to create opportunities within the game that uh, allow you to be successful. And I thought we did that. That second part of the game, we cleaned it up defensively, which was huge, and then uh, pitched it with Bo Kearns. Uh, tip our hats to him. Phenomenal effort by him. Uh, Dave Murillo comes in and, and shuts the door, and then you know we create some opportunities in the ninth. But just staying with it, uh, staying positive with it, and you know it looked ugly at times, but uh, you know the end result is what we were looking for, and uh, that's one more run the other team. Talk to me about Bo Kearns. He's facing an offense that's, that's been hot, coming in in long relief. Do you expect that outing out of him going that long? Well, we, you know, we expect the competitiveness that he brings to the mound. And, uh, you know, he, he was hitting his pitches, and, you know, he had a couple different pitches working for him. Um, just did a, a competitive effort. And, you know, we just, that's what we ask of our guys. You know, go out, compete, uh, and the results will take care of themselves. Talk to me about the comeback down. 5-1, you're going to either need the team to really start walking you, get some runners on the base, or you're going to need to hit the ball hard. And you guys ended up with some hits, and they weren't cheap hits there on the rally. Yeah, it was good. Uh, guys kind of locked into the strike zone. I think uh, their guy wavered a little bit, maybe got a little bit tired, and uh, left a few pitches up, and our hitters were ready for them, and uh, did, did a good job with it. Talking about your first four batters really collected a lot of hits today, that contingent of four guys. You've got a senior in there with, with Weiss. Um, he was hitting the ball hard tonight. As well as Shirley as well. Maybe talk to you about some of your leadership at the top of the lineup there. Well, it's good to see Shirley, you know, kind of do some really good things offensively for us. He's been kind of quiet this uh, tournament so far. He's uh, he's starting to heat back up, which is good going into another elimination game tomorrow. 
And, uh, you know, Cody Weiss, he's battling that wrist, but he's giving us competitive at-bats. And we got some seniors that really want one and really want to play another day and see how long they can stay in this tournament. You're gonna, you needed to win five games in five days to win the whole thing after losing that first game. You've notched three of them. One more tomorrow, and then you're in the title game. Talk to me about tomorrow's outlook when you're facing Oklahoma Wesleyan. Same outlook as today. Uh, find a way to get to Friday. Just keep playing hard. Keep staying together as teammates. Keep believing in yourselves. Keep believing in the program, the system, and good things will happen. Thanks, Coach. Congrats. You bet. Thank you.